Hi guys, I'm Troy Burson. Uh, today I will have a look Lenovo Y520, which is gaming laptop in middle range from Lenovo. The laptop specification is Kaby Lake i5 to i7 and graphic option has uh, what GTX 1050 to 1050 Ti. About build quality was amazing compared with my laptop. Actually, I'm using Clevo uh, P775 DM3, which is more than two thousand dollars price, and the left my laptop is fully covered with full plastics. It's awful. I, I surely tell you guys, the Lenovo laptop build quality is much, much, much better than mine, and I got satisfaction for it. And then about screen, it's quite acceptable, but uh, I guess the screen is is not a uh, super high quality screen. Just that I, I guess about uh, two thousand uh, two hundred fifty CDI something, and I have no idea about RGB something. I because I didn't check it. Anyway, uh, let's have a look how to rip how to replace the work and then at the last of the video I will show the results uh, with fire strike uh, temperatures uh, before and and then after let's get started okay let's get started it has so much uh, screws on the bottom bottom body cover uh, it's about uh, four three to uh, probably about 10 something uh, actually I used my driver uh, but if you guys doesn't uh, uh, don't have any tools to open it just uh, I would recommend to buy Bessel driver 9900 uh, p.0 minus 100 uh, at the, uh, on the this uh, description of video, I will I will write down the the name a uh, correct name, and then you can find it out easily. So uh, I used to, but uh, I normally use thermal paste, and get it extreme, and I would recommend if you want to buy different different one, then uh, thermal grizzly. Creo nuts, uh, and then another is Arctic MX4. Just up to you. <laughs> the price is uh, so similar. Uh, so what you need is to work uh, one cross screwdriver, and then thermal paste, and then a plastic card or hair. Just up to you. Uh, because the uh, for opening the bottom cover, you should lift it up with a uh, plastic tool. Otherwise, you're gonna break the bottom cover. So should be careful with. Uh, the video will show how to open it. It's very easy. Just to take all the screw out. Actually, I'm not native speaker of English. Uh, probably it's it will be unnatural, but I think uh, it's quite acceptable to understand how to work it work for it. Uh, it's, at the moment, uh, just uh, I'm trying to open it card, but it's not easy to lift it up. So use a driver, screwdriver. Uh, to lift it up yeah flathead driver use a sm small one flathead driver 
to lift it up a little bit not much and then for, uh, push in a plastic card and then swipe all around uh, when I'm capturing the video the work was the first time so I didn't know uh, fully just to always get that happens because a manufacturer has each manufacturer has a different different type of body and different rule to open it but really similar just to, at the edge okay, lift it up and then push in push in the plastic card and then swipe it fully full around you can hear the clicking the cover type is just such a clip clip button something so if you just continuously try with a flathead driver you're gonna break them so just use a plastic card or hair simple very simple you can hear the sounds when you open it at the moment I forgot to take off two two screws out so just to ignore this ignore now the screw two screws are at the top don't forget it Yeah, found the two screws at the Don't forget to take them off. All them all of all of them off. The most important thing. Otherwise we're gonna break it. Gonna break the bottom cover. They should have buy a new one. Yeah. Easily can be opened. Use a plastic card again. Yeah, that's it. Spent about six minutes. Shit. So, uh, it heat sink and cooler are divided so you don't have to take screw out uh, about cooler screw uh, five screws are they uh, to take take them out uh, but when you start the work first you should take a battery cable which is colored with black and white and red uh, but I forgot uh, the uh, forgot take put it out at the moment just he heat sink screws are five of them, but it's attached on the heat sink, so you can't take off the screws. Just to loosen it, then leave them. Uh, one screw is hidden underneath of the sticker of a black one. It, which, which is near lamp cover the silver square one is a lamp cover and uh, ups, right right upside has a screw and it's it's underneath it's hidden can't take that out because one screw is still stuck on it
sí. No, it's impossible because I have to have to loosen one screw, one more screw there. Yeah, take that out, and then underneath has a screw to loosen it. Just simply take, open open the lamp cover and then try to loosen the screw for easy work. So five screws are on his sink. Yeah, it works. Ah, uh, the thermal thermal paste condition was a uh, really, really, really good. Uh, but I repasted it for the customer, and then the te the every temperature. Uh, was decreased because the factory summer paste is a really low quality material so it it doesn't transfer a uh, heat fully so I I pasted it get it extreme just up to you anything uh, any summer paste uh, but uh, in my opinion, if you use good quality thermal paste, to, yeah, then you're gonna extend the lifetime of laptop. So how to wipe the uh, all the thermal paste? Uh, you use just toilet paper and then wipe it, or just if you have acetone, use your acetone or nail remover. Two of them are best option, but if you don't have it, just use a toilet paper, that's it. Wipe it off. But you don't have to care about uh, some something left on it. Uh, I mean, just the, the, the most important thing is c cleaning the, the chip surface. Just to, because we gonna paste on the surface of chip. Pass around. Don't waste too much. Just the paste, the uh, paste work. Uh, I mean, spreading the galley the extreme. Uh, when you paste the galley extreme, you should spread thinner as you can. But if you use a different thing like uh, thermal grizzly something or RTMX4 or uh, other type of thermal paste, then just to you shoot the squeeze uh, at the middle and then don't spread them. Just to your heat sink will press the thermal paste and then gonna spread it. You can easily find on YouTube many videos, but. For you guys, I will link link the video on the description, so you will see if you want. Yeah, place the heat sink again, and then squeeze all the screws. I at this time should squeeze the screws fully. Just to, you imagine if you squeeze. Really, really strong. You, you will feel. You will think you're gonna break the uh, laptop parts, but it's definitely not. So just confidently press and squeeze it fully as you can. Use your power fully. Otherwise. 
it will get a gap between the chip chip surface and heat sink. So transferring temp uh, heat is is not going well. So you gonna waste your time and then you gonna open the bottom cover again you gonna rework for it trust me squeeze it squeeze the screw fully 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 it's the most important thing when you work when you work for thermally pasted then place all place lamp cover again to origin place Can be locked easily. Just the left side and right side has uh, some buttons. Yeah, that's it. So before you finish, get put it in the battery cable. Because if you don't do that, next time you're gonna open the bottom cover again. Don't forget it. Actually, I forgot to take that out, take 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 that off. But uh, before you work, you shoot the battery cable off and then put it up. When you finish, put it in. Yeah, that's it. Just the, uh, after the uh, after the end of closing bottom cover. So all the uh, place all the screws again. That's all. Uh, well, I'm going to skip the video because locking screws is very boring. And let's see the result of fire strike. Okay, left one is before, right one is after. Here's the CPU and here's a graphic card. You can easily look at the changes of temperatures. Uh, actually, uh, before work, I mentioned about status of a thermal paste uh, from factory. It was a sticky. Uh, it was a really fresh one, uh, but I I repasted it with really high quality one, and then it's the temperature has changed. So I would recommend. To th re thermal paste when you buy laptop immediately because or oh, keep 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 using with low temperature extend laptop lifetime. Okay, that's all my contents of video today. So if you got a help from my video. Uh, please subscribe for me, please and then On the video, please press like and then if you have any question just uh, Send an email or on the any videos uh, Make a question article and then I will answer as soon as possible Thank you for watching my video. See you next time